What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here today to talk about the new Gymshark Marl. Have you guys seen it? All right, it's landed on the website. It's already live. Now, we have seen the Adapt Marl before. This isn't new. It's like the prodigal son. It disappeared for a while and now it's back. Say he's back, back. But it's different. <laughs> but is it better? That's what we're gonna discuss in today's video. Now, like I said before, everything you're gonna see in today's video is already dropped. If you see anything you like or that catches your eye, Ashley G will do what it does punch it in at checkout it will save you 10% off of your entire order always thank you so much if you do help support this channel keep these reviews coming your way what are we looking at here in this new Marl design we have five new colors I have every single new color that has launched yay light pink look they all have like a slash some other color slash another color I'm not gonna go through all that we're just going with the main feed color right now I'm just gonna say light pink now, if you look closely at this light pink, you will see some tones of like a lavender purple color. The corresponding sports bra here has more of a bright pink border outline all around the bra. Next up, we have teal. Now, this is actually a pretty damn dark teal <laughs> mixed with gray, so it looks even darker. This is a very hazy, gravelly design here. This is like if teal went super emo. This is what it would be. But to lighten the mood just a little bit, the corresponding sports bra has a very light gray border around it. Now, this is the real light gray. <laughs> Now, this is more monochromatic. You have two of the same color, just different shades. What's unique about this sports bra is the matching border blends right in. You wouldn't even know that it's a border. Light blue, mm mm mm. The light blue color has two different blues in it, as you can see. And on the matching sports bra, we have a darker blue to make that light blue pop. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my favorite color. It's very suitable for this season. And you know me, I love reds, berry tones, and things like that. This is plum pink, okay? Look closely, it's got that plum, pinkish burgundy color mixed with dark gray. The sports bra has the real pop of plum pink border. Plum pink's popping. They did a nice job on this color palette. I think that adding in the darker colors, the lighter colors, it's great. It's suitable for everybody. Comment down below, which is your favorite color? Oh, this material, oh, it's adapt all right. When I first put these on, oh my God, were they insulating. These are meant for winter time or a really cold gym. If you live in a cold area or you just work out in a super cold climate, if you're on some Rocky versus Drago or you're training up in the mountains, <laughs> this will keep you nice and toasty. This material reminds me of, obviously, camo. All right, we know that natural camo fit and feel, not quite the last launch because the last camo launch was a little bit different. If you remember that review, it's an oddly thin material. It was different, not in a bad way, but like different. So these automatically, you know what they really feel like? The flex. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and say. Remember the OG Flex? Similar, super similar material. That's what I'm feeling right now. So it has a little bit of a rugged feel. It's not annoying or uncomfortable to wear, but I'm not gonna lie. When I was walking on the treadmill in these, I started to feel like if it was any scratchier, I'd be like, we have an issue. This is definitely more rugged than any of the previous camos, anything you've seen. This is only nylon and elastane. I'm just saying there's no polyester in it. Polyester and polyamide, those two things will really soften up a legging, make it super stretchy. This, this legging, heavy duty, durable fabric. So not only is it good for insulating, but if you're somebody who really is just super mindful of not wanting to pill their leggings, I think you'd really actively have to try to pill these. I don't think that there's any reason why these should get dinged up. That's great because hey, Gymshark's coming out with super durable gym leggings. That's the only thing I would use these for. I would not wear these otherwise. These are specifically seamless gym wear. Sure, you could wear it out and about, but me, I'm keeping this for the gym. So let's talk about the waistband. This waistband is actually super cute. I like the fact that they added in this heavy ribbed detailing right in the center, and then they kept that heavy, bold marl on the outside. I feel like this helps to cinch in the waist. In fact, I felt like when I was wearing these, my hips popped. <laughs> nice compression, okay? Moderate it to high for sure. There was no gaping, didn't slide down. This really did what it's supposed to do, but it wasn't uncomfortable. And that I have to hand it to them. I think they did a great job, not only on the design, but the functionality and the overall fit of this band. 
The rest of this legging, moderate to high. Really nice fit throughout the legging. There's no wrinkling, there's no bulging. This isn't the type of material that's gonna do that. It's a nice glove body fit. Now, if you're somebody like me, I used to, a lot of the times, go commando in my leggings. The Adapt family is the only leggings I would really actively feel comfortable in doing that with because this thick material so thick. It does give a buffer down there. It doesn't highlight those areas. Who do I have to track down? Go knocking on their door, ringing the doorbell nonstop for an embroidered logo. I know most brands don't do that, but I want one. Don't care how I want it now. I know that this material can sustain an embroidered logo. When it comes to the Adapt family, embroider the logo, please and thanks. The glutes. <gasps> what do we have here? Oh, thank God. No cat hole scrunch here. When I got it in, that's the first thing I, I just I grabbed it. Oh, fuck it. Booty up, and I was just like, okay, we're good here. We got a race seam contour, I'll take it. It ain't a scrunch, mom. It's not an internal scrunch, but it's something. Does it do a whole lot? That's a great question. It doesn't. I do have a uni butt in these. I felt it the second I put it on. You know that feeling when you put on leggings and you just know you're gonna have a uni butt? Where the material is just so far from your butt crack, it's just more of a hover than anything else, okay? Like it doesn't really wanna be friends with you. That's how this was. It was a more of a hover than anything. I know there's a lot of gals out there that are like, yes, thank you. Like I am not trying to have my glutes on display. Like finally, me? I don't even need to go there. If you've been watching my channel, you already know how I feel. Being that it's so thick, you might be wondering, is it breathable? Not totally breathable. It's so thick, girl. If you work up a sweat, you're gonna just feel warm. <laughs> you're gonna feel that sweat. But speaking of sweat, very good at concealing. Now, granted, you do have a ton of distractions here. This moral breakup is life. And really good for that department. You might feel a little soggy, but it's really good at concealing sweat. If you live in Gilbert, Arizona, or the beaches of Miami, maybe not. You might wanna rethink this one. But me here in New Jersey, I mean, I should have worn these this morning. It was 28 degrees when I stepped into my car today. Bruh. Me in winter time here, it's great until Christmas is over. Then I'm like, well, now what? I shiver my timbers, that's about it. It's also super good at concealing cellulite because of the compression and the thickness of material. Adapt family is super good at being squat proof, always has been. So as you can see, there's not a big difference between the nude and the black brief, still very squat proof in both. Length is also very good on me. Now I'm pleasantly surprised to see that my true size is great. I would stick with it. True size, small, 100%. If you're in between, size up. This is pretty compressive and not only that, but I think it'll help out in the glute department, give your glutes a little more space. If you're larger in the glutes, you're definitely going to want to size up. Other than the downfall of the uni butt, that's just my personal preference, okay? Uni butt, no thank you. They did a great job in having a durable gym legging, 100%. Basically all of the things that we know and love about the Adapt collection, we do have here. Wowie. These sports bras are the same material as the leggings, nice and thicky. A couple things about the sports bra. Now we're talking about back thong. This for real looks like a back thong. Forget what I said about the V-neck back thong. This is a real one. This is the shit I used to buy at Victoria's Secret when I was like 16. It looks like a Victoria's Secret pink thong strapped onto a Gymshark sports bra. Okay. If you look closely to the sports bra design, it's really hazy right on the chest. Then when you move right around to the sides of the bra is where it gets a little more crisper. You even have a very fine ribbing. So different textured paneling back to hazy. And then right on the bottom of the band, right in the center on the back and the front, you have that matching heavy rib, just like the waistband of the leggings. So you have the matching shark face right on the back. Yeah, I like when they put it right on the back there. They added it on the front too. Do you wish that they added in a more tonal logo? Maybe possibly one that matched the bold seam? That might've been pretty cute. But at the same time, I do know there's a lot of gals out there that really wanna rep the logo. So then that's where this comes in place, all right? It's an eye-catching logo. You're gonna see it and know that you're wearing Gymshark. Now, as you can see here, this material, same as the leggings, but you can really see the stiffness here. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. Like the straps are sticking straight up like bunny ears. You can see that. Yeah. 
What's up, Doc? But don't get it twisted. Not uncomfortable at all. Not at all. I'm wearing it right here, right now. Not feeling any form of discomfort. The thick straps are very, very comfortable. Seams are not annoying to me. I'm not feeling the back strap. These thin straps, I'm not feeling them dig. We have a very subtle scoop neckline. Doesn't go too low. Holds you in really nicely. So I would give this a moderate support. Maybe even higher, depending on your bust size. My true size small is great. If you're in between though, I would suggest sizing up because right here, okay, just like the previous camo bra launch, remember that? This bra is cut at such an angle where it digs ever so slightly. Same thing here as last time, that's my only big concern. So I would size up if in between. I wouldn't size up naturally because if it's anything like the camo bra, which it seems like it is, if I were to size up completely, then I'm gonna have like a lip here, some extra material, things like that. So I would only size up if in between. Speaking of lipping here, no lipping happening. As you can see, there's not a ton of stretch. It's very supportive. There's no elastic band underneath here either. So fairly supportive for just having that matching ribbing that matches the waistband of the leggings. I feel like this heavy ribbing in the center, same with the leggings, acts as extra compression. It acts as almost a ruching, kind of adding in a little more support in certain areas. This is the amount of stretch you're looking at, okay? It's not uncomfortable to wear, even though the material's stiffer and thicker than what you might be used to, it's still very comfortable to wear. Just holding it up right here right now, you can see it's a little bit of a high to low. It curves ever so slightly upward in the back and then comes a bit lower in the front. Didn't honestly notice it when wearing it. It's not like it feels any different. And of course you have your removable bra pads. There's no adjustments on this bra whatsoever. I feel like they made this backing as cute as they possibly could considering this thick material. They wanted it to be comfortable. They wanted it to be most importantly functional. This is something you could absolutely absolutely wear doing hit. I mean, granted, you're gonna sweat. You could get away with running in this too. If you do CrossFit, I always suggested the Adapt family. Ultimately, I think these sets are great for late fall, early winter, all throughout winter fits. They did a very nice job on this Marl Seamless. The only two concerns I have, like if I had to just be nitpicky and say these are the two things I don't like, it's the cut of this bra right here and the uni butt. All right guys, what are our thoughts on the new Gymshark Adapt Marl Seamless? Like I said before, I'm really excited to see them coming back with the Marl. I've missed you, and I'm welcoming you back with open arms. Come here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you in my next video. I always encourage you to spread your... <laughs> spread your what? Oh my oh. God. Where the material's so far from your... um. Butt crack. If you're in Gilbert, Arizona, you in the desert of Miami. There was frost. I don't know where I was going with that. Now, this is a light gray mixed with dark gray. So this is a little, um. The sports bra has that real pup. Put it. I would suggest sizing up because, goodness gracious.